Hello my friends. Today I want to show you how to make a no-go gauge for a Mosin-Nikon rifle or a carbine. I have found this spacer. It looks like a spacer or an unknown part. And I tried to take a measure of it. zero the caliper it is zero zero seventy five inches we need to make a no-go gauge the thickness of point zero seventy one so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, round it off to resemble the rim of a Mosin case so it is the same dimension make a notch here to clear the extractor so that it would fit here like this like the rim of the casing it is still too big to fit in here as you see then I will remove with a fine sandpaper and some thickness from it so it's the right thickness what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take a fired case I'm going to mark it with a high carbon steel pencil around very carefully is visible okay and then I'm going to put it into the vise and work around it a bit Well, finally, our no-go gauge uh, took some shape. Took about 20 minutes of careful because the material, the metal, is not very uh, hard. So it took some time to be very careful of removing some burrs. And now you can see that it fits into the bolt face on the Mosing bolt. It fits about perfectly. Check the thickness. Zero seventy five. So it still looks like a field gauge. We need 0 71. So I'll take some fine sandpaper. I'm not sure, I think this is about 800 grains in a square millimeter. And I will proceed to sand it very carefully in small steps and check with my caliper. How is it going? Okay. Now let's check it out. Zero. Zero seventy two point five. Zero seventy two. So just a little bit of sending. 
Be careful to wipe it so it doesn't have any debris on it. Let's try it again. Zero. Okay, to compensate for the error that your caliper may give you. I'm going to leave it at the 0 0.72. Okay. Okay, to be sure that it's clean, I will brush it a bit. And also to check if the Bolt face is clean. Brush it a bit. Check if there is no debris. Because we're going to check our headspace now. I will also check if the chamber is clean. No debris or threads or anything in there. Okay, it's clean. Now what we do next. We take the bolt place the no-go gauge that I have just manufactured in there and feed it into the rifle. Now it's in place you can see. Close it. It does not close. This is a good sign. Okay, It should not close. Just to be sure we can turn it around, place it again into the bolt face, try to close it again, it does not close, okay? It doesn't close. Okay? So this is how you make your no go gauge and how it works in your Mosin Nagant rifle. Thank you for watching.